Hey guys, this is Joy Cho from Oh Joy. Welcome to the seventh episode of Dressing the Bump. We're at 36 weeks now and in the final home stretch. As we head into fall, I wanted to share some tips on how to layer that bump for the cooler temperatures ahead. Since your body temperature is a little warmer than usual thanks to your own personal heater, dressing in layers is key. You'll get too warm too quick if you just throw in a thick sweater or coat without giving yourself some lighter layers underneath. And the best part about fall or winter outerwear is you can usually wear non-maternity pieces because they look great over layers unbuttoned and unzipped. A blazer like the one I'm wearing is a great piece to add some structure and serve as a light jacket over a patterned blouse. Paired with some skinny maternity jeans and a wedge shoe, you're ready for a lunch date or a client meeting. When temperatures drop, I love wearing a short sleeve jacket or a vest to add some warmth without adding too much bulk. This short sleeve jacket can be worn over a tank, tee, or even a long sleeve shirt or dress as the temperatures get cooler. If you're planning on nursing once baby arrives, here's a chance to make sure your tanks and tees double as nursing pieces too. Tops and dresses like this with a button or a zipper at the neckline can be really practical for nursing once baby arrives. If you're in your last trimester like I am, stretchy maternity dresses are still a pregnant girl's best friend. Here's a long sleeve sweater dress perfect for fall. Pair it with boots or booties for a casual fall weekend. You guys know I love a chic romper on a pregnant lady. So for a more adventurous outfit, try a long sleeve romper for fall with a great necklace and a patterned clutch. Just make sure the waistband falls at a good place in your belly to be the most flattering. Finally, when it comes to shoes, fall gives you way more options for flats, like boots, booties, brogues, and loafers. Just remember to wear something with a flexible sole whenever possible for comfort and support. This is my last pre-baby episode of Dressing the Bump. I hope you've enjoyed them as much as I've enjoyed making them. In my post-baby episode, I'll talk about addressing that after-baby bump and also cover more nursing options. I'll see you guys in the next month or two after this little girl decides to join us. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Dressing the Bump. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And please subscribe to the Ojoy YouTube channel to see videos as soon as they're posted.